As you wander the produce aisle at your local supermarket, beware. The fruits and veggies that surround you might just be saturated with secret and very toxic chemicals. No, not pesticides or herbicides. Chemicals used in an oil and gas drilling process called fracking. Why would this happen? If you're an oil exploration company, what do you do with the millions of gallons of leftover wastewater that have been mixed with 80 to 300 tons of chemicals? Well, if you're in a water-starved state like California, you sell it to local farmers for irrigation. This is perfectly legal. Even organic regulations do not specifically forbid it. Exactly what chemicals are in this irrigating soup, you ask? That is a tough question to answer since fracking companies refuse to say. There is a list of dozens of chemicals that may be included, but the recipe varies by company. On that list are known carcinogens like methylene chloride and solvents such as acetone, commonly known as paint thinner. These carcinogenic chemicals have been linked to cancer, cardiac disease, and other conditions. Oil companies argue that this practice is environmentally sound since they are recycling the water they use. But what happens to those tons of chemicals? And there is currently no way to know if your produce is being doused in it. Although some lawmakers are pushing to have produce labeled if it is exposed to fracking wastewater. Consumers need to demand transparency and adequate protection. None of us want to have fracking fluid for dinner. Please visit our website by clicking the link below to learn more.